Looking for a classic movie with a mix of humor, shock, and heartache? Look no further than Two Girls and a Sailor. This 1944 film is packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that'll keep you hooked till the end. Ever wondered which character stole the show for you? Share your favorite role from Two Girls and a Sailor, or perhaps you recall the first time you watched this cinematic gem. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So grab your popcorn and settle in for an unforgettable journey with two girls and a sailor. There's plenty of entertainment waiting for you. During the lively era of Hollywood's golden days, amid the chaos of World War II, a film emerged that stole the hearts of audiences with its charm and catchy tunes. Released in 1944, Two Girls and a Sailor whisked viewers away into a world of romance and music, offering a much-needed escape from the harsh realities of the time. Imagine the glitter and excitement of wartime America, where a heartwarming story of love and sisterhood unfolded. Against the backdrop of a busy naval base, the movie tells the tale of two sisters who find themselves attracted to a charming sailor amidst the turmoil of war. Directed by Richard Thorpe, this film not only entertained audiences, but also showed the resilience of people during tough times. Its lovable characters and catchy songs left a lasting impression on 1940s cinema. What made the movie special was its ability to connect with viewers of all ages. Whether it was the engaging performances of its stars or the timeless themes of love and loyalty, the movie had something for everyone. As we journey back in time, let's remember the importance of two girls and a sailor in cinematic history. Its influence went beyond just entertaining, leaving behind a legacy that still inspires today. So sit back, relax, and let the magic of the movie sweep you off your feet once again. Some stories truly stand the test of time. Two Girls and a Sailor is a 1944 movie featuring a storyline where Admiral Kirk and Captain Spock from Star Trek For the Voyage Home embark on a mission to retrieve two humpback whales named George and Gracie from 20th Century Earth. These whales are crucial for saving the planet. They were cared for and featured at the Cetacean Institute near San Francisco. The movie also explores the heritage of two girls and a sailor who is half Scottish and half Norwegian. Additionally, Two Girls and a Sailor was under contract to MGM for 12 years. Two Girls and a Sailor, a 1944 movie, holds a place among the American Film Institute's 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Music in the Movies for the song Inc. Adinka Do. Singer buddy Mo Reno, who joined Harry James and his orchestra in 1943, makes an appearance in the film. He sings you, Dear, during the dream sequence and joins the finale reprise of Sweet and Lovely at the very end. Flamenco became one of Rita Hayworth's favorite pastimes after she learned it for the Barefoot Contessa in 1954. Increasingly proficient and needing little sleep, she often danced all night. Two Girls and a Sailor, a 1944 movie, features Xavier Cugat, who owned and ran Casa Cugat, a popular Mexican restaurant in West Hollywood. This restaurant, operational from the 1940s until 1986, attracted many Hollywood celebrities. In Neptune's Daughter, a film released in 1949, scenes display the restaurant's exterior and a whimsical portrayal of its interior, with Cugat playing himself. American Horror Story's second episode in 2011 makes a reference to two girls and a sailor with Jessica Long's character likening her husband's appearance to Van Johnson, a notable actor in the film. James, one of the actors in Two Girls and a Sailor, began his career early, performing with the circus. He started as a contortionist at age four and later played the snare drum in the band from about age six. At one point, James was nearly trampled by circus trick horses, but was shielded by his mother's pet horse until the danger passed. Two Girls and a Sailor is a 1944 movie featuring a Spanish-born band leader who popularized the rumba in America. He fathered five children, two with Tobin, two with Grable, and one with Boyd, and had 16 grandchildren at the time of his death. In a 1950s publicity campaign, he was once named the world's most beautiful animal. The film showcases his musical talent and charismatic presence alongside the heartwarming story of two sisters and their romantic entanglements. Directed by Richard Thorpe, it remains a classic example of wartime romantic musicals. In 1944, the movie Two Girls and a Sailor, featuring Catherine Grayson and Lena Horne, highlighted the talents of these two amazing actresses and their true friendship off-screen. Despite later competing for the same role in Showboat, their bond stayed strong. Alongside them, bandleader Xavier Cugat, 
known as the Rumba King, appeared on screen, bringing his lively energy and love for Latin American music. He played a crucial role in the music scene of the 1930s and 40s, initially joining Polak's band in 1935 before finding success with Benny Goodman's orchestra in 1937. The film offered a mix of enjoyable performances and lively music, capturing the essence of the time. The camaraderie among the cast members translated well on screen, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the story. With each scene, audiences were transported to a world where music and friendship were intertwined, leaving a lasting impression. Indeed, Two Girls and a Sailor not only entertained its audience, but also left a memorable impact on cinema history, showcasing the lasting power of friendship and the universal language of music. It reminds us of a past era filled with charm and enchantment. Two Girls and a Sailor, a 1944 movie, earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1537 Vine Street. Due to being listed as a subversive in Red Channels, a publication from the McCarthy Red Scare era, Two Girls and a Sailor shifted to cabaret performances. Her involvement in the civil rights movement from the 1940s onwards, along with her friendship with former communist actor-singer Paul Robeson, were used against her. The Catalan mezzo-soprano Maria Gay introduced two girls and a sailor to esteemed musicians like Pau Casals and Enric Granados. Two Girls and a Sailor is a 1944 movie that features two sisters who fall for the charm of a sailor during World War II. Directed by Richard Thorpe, the film stars June Allison and Gloria D. Haven as the sisters Patsy and Jean Deo, respectively. The sailor, played by Van Johnson, becomes the object of affection for both sisters, leading to a heartwarming tale of love and sacrifice. Outside of the film, June Allison was known for her role as the mayor of Wrightwood Ka. On the other hand, Xavier Cugat, who appeared in the movie, spent his final years in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain, residing in a suite at Hotel Ritz. Additionally, Gloria D. Haven and her brother, Peter Miles, once co-managed a popular Los Angeles art gallery. Despite being set against the backdrop of wartime, the movie focuses more on the personal relationships and romantic entanglements of its characters rather than the conflict itself. It portrays themes of love, loyalty, and sacrifice in a lighthearted and entertaining manner. In conclusion, Two Girls and a Sailor is a classic romantic comedy that offers a glimpse into the lives of its characters during a tumultuous period in history. It's a heartwarming story of love and family bonds that continues to resonate with audiences to this day. Two Girls and a Sailor premiered in 1944. The film stars two sisters who fall for the same sailor during World War II. It showcases the challenges they face in their relationships amidst the backdrop of war. The movie was released to critical acclaim and gained popularity for its portrayal of love and sacrifice during wartime. The lead actress, born at 11.40 a.m. PST, earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1672 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Her personal life also drew attention, particularly when she married Alfred Glenn Maxwell. After the marriage, her family allowance from the estate of Dick Powell decreased from $5,000 per month to $2,500 per month. Overall, Two Girls and a Sailor is a compelling wartime drama that explores themes of love, loyalty, and sacrifice. It remains a significant piece of cinema history known for its engaging storyline and memorable performances.